Hey everybody, good to see you. Um, I want to try to answer a few questions and spit a few facts your direction. And then hopefully we can come to some sort of understanding about your position in abundance. So let's see if we can help you out here. First off, your position in abundance. Let's, I, I want to tell you why only 3% of the world achieves financial freedom. But the first thing I need to tell you that abundance is your birthright. So if you're leaving, if you got to check out this, this, this communication here, and that's cool. Abundance is your birthright. I want all of you to receive that. I want all of you to get that. That you don't have to, you shouldn't have to fight for money. You shouldn't have to think that you can't get something. It is your natural right because you're living. I want you to think about this for a second. When you were born, your lungs did not say, you know what? I'm from the wrong side of the tracks. I'm not allowed to get an abundance of air. Your heart didn't say, hey, I'm just going to pump a little bit of blood. I just want you to get this. I'm going to break down why you are trapped. And I want you to free yourself. I want you to do this because abundance is your birthright. You don't have to fight for what is yours. It's already yours. That means... That if you were born to be rich, if you were born to be free, if you were born to have everything that you want and you don't have it, someone's controlling that. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to repeat all of that because I want everyone to to be on the same page here. Now, I explain all this in my in my book and go even more. And actually, I'm giving you more details than what's what may be in there about this subject. The book is free. <clears throat> Go grab it. It's my gift back to the world. Life has been so good to me <clears throat> that it's my turn now to be good to it. So that's why this is free. Now, let's recap all that before I get to you why 3% <clears throat> of the world only achieves financial freedom. It is your duty, your right. Just by being born, you should be rich, period. Period. Just by being born, you should have everything you want. It shouldn't be an option. You, you don't have to fight for abundance. I prove that to you scientifically. Rain clouds don't have two drops of rain. There's not one ocean, one wave, a few, a few waves. As deep as the ocean is, it's not kind of deep, right? It's, it's, it's not like a little deep. The sun doesn't have kind of sun. Are, are y'all hearing this? Everything that nature does, it does in abundance. If nature's going to give you a hurricane, it's going to give you an abundant hurricane, not a kind of hurricane, an abundant hurricane. Nature has an abundance of oxygen, an abundance of trees, <clears throat> trees don't have a few leaves, a few roots. Think about this world, all the grass in this world. It's not kind of grass. There's no middle class grass, right? There's no, there's no poverty grass. Grass grows in abundance. You can sit a big car on top of, hey, Kevin, you can sit a, hey, Lanita, you can sit a big car on top of grass and that grass will still grow. Everybody hear me. It is your duty, your obligation, regardless of your faith, you are absolutely born to be rich by divine power. <clears throat> by divine power, just being born qualifies you to be what you would call a millionaire. Now, if you're not a millionaire, if you're not in abundance, it means one thing and one thing only. Someone is controlling your abundance. And this is what I want you to understand. Uh, and I'm, I'm giving you this information. If you look at my page, I give away all the information for free. <clears throat> I give it away. I'm, I'm giving you a book, the greatest book I've ever written in my life about money, how I did it, 
I gave away all my secrets. So if you ever wanted to coach with me and you couldn't afford it, it's literally in that book. <clears throat> I give away all my secrets. You can have it for free. The link's in the whatever, right? It's in the, it's in the preview, and I'll post it in the comments here in a second. But the point is, if you're not rich, someone's controlling that fact, period. Someone's controlling that. Now, I'm getting ready to move on, but I want all of you put in the comments that you ought to hear me. Like say, I hear you. You write something or I don't believe it. I don't agree. Just, just, just comment, interact with me. But somebody is controlling your prosperity and that's the problem. The problem is someone is controlling your prosperity. The reason why 3% of this world are the only people that get the financial freedom is because it's designed that way. It's designed. Somebody put in the chat real quick. Somebody put in the comments, it's designed that way. Help somebody out. Help, help, help out somebody that that's, that's needs to understand that you're in a system that's designed to keep you poor. Period. <clears throat> There's nothing different. There's nothing else. Good morning. Good, good morning, sugar. Good morning. I think I'm going to see you soon, if I'm not mistaken. Anywho, <clears throat> somebody put in the comments, it's designed that way. It is absolutely designed that way for you not to get what you deserve. So how? Let's break it down. I'll give you another example. If you tell me the crime rate in Chicago is high, which is what they tell you every chance they get, they can't wait to tell you that. I need you to get that it's designed that way for the crime rate in Chicago to be high. I need you to get that. How can you say that, Antonio? I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. It's very simple. If I can account for it, I'm controlling it. It's a cup of coffee. I am accounting for this cup of coffee. I can tell you how much is in it. It's half a cup left. Okay? Half a cup left. I can account for it. Now I get the control if I pour it out, drink it, warm it up, all sorts of stuff. I get to control that. If I can account for something, I'm controlling it. <clears throat> Here's why only 3% of the world <clears throat> survives to get to financial freedom. I'm going to give you all the reasons why, and I want all of you to account for them. And if you want more details, just go get the book for free. Okay, it's free. Just go get it. Now, everybody write this down. Number one, I want you to put job. Number one, job. In fact, I'll help you put it in the comments myself. Number one, job. Number two, welfare. Okay? So number one is job. Number two is welfare. Number three is criminal. Then number four is prison. Let's break all this down. <clears throat> I'm give, giving you the game. In any developed country, this is happening, especially in America, because we privatized it. Okay? <clears throat> There's only three way, four ways to survive in a developed country. There's only four ways to, to survive in a developed country, y'all. Number one, a job. That's the number one way to survive in a developed country, according to regular, just understanding people, a job. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> you need to understand something about a job. Number one, if you have a job, you cannot get rich. Someone please write that down in the chat. Someone please, please, I beg you, write this down in the chat. If you have a job, it is important. Impossible for you to get rich. Impossible. Impossible. In 97% of the cases, it is impossible for you to get rich if you have a job. Why can't you say that, Antonio? That's not right. My mama told me to go to school and get a good job. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's why you're in the situation you're in. Okay? Jobs cannot make you rich. Why? Everybody write this down. All wealth comes from labor. All wealth comes from labor. All of it. You cannot get rich with a job. Thank you, Kevin, for posting the chat. Come on, let me hear from some more of you. 
I'm, I'm giving you free game. They don't write this in books. They don't teach this to you. I am telling you. Thank you. Thank you, Lenita. I am telling you what is being, what's happening to you. I'm telling you what's happening to you. As it, Right now, as I'm doing this video, I'm looking at my email on my computer. I've been paid four times since I've been doing this video. I'm talking to you and my email is still going off about getting paid for one of my services. I mean, think about that for a second. That's crazy. That's, that's absolutely crazy, right? All wealth comes from labor. I'm still on number one. That's number one. Job. There's four ways to survive in a developed country. A job, crim a job, welfare, criminal, prison. Now, all wealth comes from labor. That means if you have a job, you, you are labor. Put that in the chat. If I have a job, I am labor. Let's put that in the chat. I'm teaching you something. If I have a job, I am labor. Boom. Now, write this down. If I am labor, I'm somebody's wealth. Hello from Houston. Hey, Tasha. If I have a job, I am labor. If I am labor, I am someone else's wealth. This is why you cannot have a job in 97% of the cases and get rich. Because your job is paying you just enough to make whoever owns the job rich. Is this, is this making sense? I'm, I'm trying to be as... Right, <laughs> trying to be as as direct as possible. I'm be as direct as possible, but I'm trying to help you. Okay, I'm trying to help you. If I am labor, then I am someone else's wealth. Now, I want to keep all of you in a job because I want to protect my wealth. You get it? If you, if I let you keep your job, I'm going to protect my wealth. How? Because I'm letting you keep your job. And this is what happens. Y'all pay attention. I want you to continue to be labor for me, but at some point, you cost too much. Mm. I am about to... This is new. If I have never said this information before. I'm giving it to y'all now. Okay? I actually have this information in a book that I'm writing that's not out yet. It's not out yet, but it's fantastic. Okay, fantastic. Now, if I am labor, then I'm someone else as well. But guess what? Antonio, you cost too much now. But I've been with you 20 years. That's exactly why you cost too much. I got to force you to retirement. Or, and, and anyone who's a baby boomer knows this, okay? Anyone, do me a favor. Let me fight I'm spitting some real knowledge. The world needs to hear this. Start a watch party or something. This is, this is, this is, I'm, I'm trying to free my, my middle class brothers and sisters. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to free them. They, they need this. If I'm labored, if I'm someone else's wealth, now you cost too much. So now that you know you cost too much, now that you know you cost too much, what am I going to do? If you're a baby boomer, this has already happened to you. I'm going to go find someone younger than you that I can pay less than you. That's, if you're over 35, I'm going to find someone younger than you that I could pay less than you because I need to protect my wealth. And you cost too much. Even though you are my wealth because you're labor, now I need to go get cheap labor. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send your job overseas or I'm going to have a kiosk. <laughs> right? Instead of you, instead of me paying you $9 an hour to, rent, to be, you know, take exchange money, I'll just have a computer do that. Self-checkout. Come on now. Man, I'm, I'm dropping knowledge. Is y'all hearing me? I'm absolutely dropping knowledge. Now, 
I'm, I'm dropping so much knowledge. My IT guy is getting ideas to make me better. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep it. Watch it. I'm keep going. So you keep it, keep it going. Now that you know that you cannot get rich in a job, your solution is if you know that someone is leveraging you so you could be their wealth, then you take their money and then you leverage their money to go create wealth. If you're not saving 40% of your money, you would never have financial freedom. Never. If you're not taking 40% of your income and going into real estate, you will never have financial freedom, ever. It's never gonna happen. It's never gonna, you could pray all you want to. Prayer has nothing to do with assets and discipline. It has nothing to do with that. Nothing. Prayer has, you can, prayer has nothing. Prayer, meditation has nothing to do with how real estate is going to protect you from a recession. Prayer won't do that. That's number one. That's how you survive. But guess what? I know, I know Tasha's here. She's, she's been here for a while now. Now that you know that I think you cost too much, what's the next logical thing that I want to do? I want to fire you, right? But I can't fire you because of work, not workers' comp, what you call unemployment. Mm -hmm. If I, I fire you, I got to pay you. And that's not protecting my money. So what do I need to do? I need to convince you to fire yourself or I just need to remove your job with technology and I ain't got to pay you or you get laid off. Mm, I'm talking. Which moves you to number two, welfare. I want all of you to understand what I'm saying. I am. If, if you think I am giving straight game and I am blessing people with this, why don't you put it in the comments real quick. Let's pause for states and identification. If I'm helping you understand why you're being oppressed, would you just go into the comments and stuff? I should see my email going off with all of y'all getting this free book. Because I teach you step by step how to leave the middle class and get to the top 1%. I even have a whole section just for 70-year-olds. I have a whole section just for 70-year-olds. 70 and above, I got a whole section for you not to be a Walmart greeter, for you to be someone that can... I even have a whole section that if you're broke, how to reverse being broke, how to get out of debt, and then how to get to the top 1%. Now, since you are in a job and I have to let you go, now you got to go to welfare. Now, I want all of you to think about all your countries. Think about all your countries. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm international. All your countries. America, India, Bangladesh. Doesn't matter, right? Nairobi. Think about all your countries. All your countries are doing what? Reforming welfare. Come on, you! It's, it's, it's one of the number one things in the media right now. Welfare reform. If you've heard the phrase welfare reform, why don't you type it in the chat for me? Let, let, let me know that I'm on the right page with you. If you heard the, 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 the form, the word, the phrase welfare reform, hit it in the chat. Now, now that you got that, here's what welfare reform means. Welfare reform simply means I don't want you at number two because I worked real hard not to get you at number one. I worked real hard not to pay you. <laughs> I'm going to get hit over the head. <laughs> I worked so hard not to pay you at number one. Now you got to go down to number two and you want me to pay you completely? No. I got to reform that. That's why it's so hard to get these welfare programs. It makes, let me tell you something. It is common sense to help someone that needs help. Common sense. If someone needs food, it is common sense to feed them. Do you understand? Common sense. We even have lawmakers who understand this common sense 
They have religions that tell them it's common sense, and then they go write laws that are not common sense. <laughs> like they know it's common sense, and then they go turn right around and say, oh no, but you know, we have lawmakers who praise an immigrant savior and don't like immigrants. Okay? I just want you to think about that. I'm, and that's all countries. I'm not, I am not talking about, you know, just America. It's all countries. This is, what I'm trying to show you is, we know better. But the reason we keep doing it is because I'm keeping you not in the top 1% so I can secure me staying in there. Y'all, I'm giving, I'm in the top 1%. It, my wealth would never be taken away. It's, oh, it's, it's, I can't, it, I, it can't stop. I have so much money that it's just going to keep growing without my attention at this point. Without my attention, it's just going to keep growing. It, it takes, it's nothing for me to keep growing my wealth because money makes money, period. Money makes money. Period. Once you get to a certain dollar amount, you don't have to do anything no more. I'm at that dollar amount. I'm not even in the upper class. I'm in the global class. Okay? My money works in any country. I'm in the top 1% in any country. I'm giving you the game so you can get there too. Is that fair? All right. Now that you know I don't want you on welfare, why don't I want you on welfare? Because I got to pay for you there. Pay attention, y'all. Remember, I started off this conversation with, with, with a thesis that was bifurcated, split in two. Thesis number one. Everybody hear me. I can't. Y'all, hear me. Hear me, hear me well. Abundance is your birthright. You were born to be rich, but the system has oppressed you. Okay? Period. Point blank. I'm in the top 1%. I'm telling you how to get there. I'm giving you a free book. You can have it because it's my gift back to the world. Here's what I'm telling you, flat out. There's only four ways to survive in this world. To have a job, to get on welfare, to be a criminal, and then go to prison. And the system is designed that way. Put that in the chat for me. Number one, have a job. Number two, welfare. Number three, go to prison. Excuse me, be a criminal. Number four, go to prison. Here is the statement of my thesis. This world does not want you anywhere but prison all modern countries. Yeah, she wants me to repeat it for you right in chat. Number one is a job. Number two is welfare. Number three is criminal. Number four is prison. And every, y'all listen to me. People like me are putting you through this funnel so we can protect our wealth. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to have a job, that actually serves me because remember, no, put this too, because I'm trying to help him out. Put this too. Put all labor is wealth. That means if you have a job, you're someone else's wealth. Mm. And 97% of the people with jobs would never reach financial freedom. I know I'm talking. Thank you. I thank you, Kim. I, I know for sure I'm talking. Because I'm not telling you what I read in the book. I'm telling you the truth because I'm filthy rich. And I understand what we're doing. And I'm giving it to you. Hey, Sherry. Right? I'm, I'm doing my very, I'm telling you, I'm giving you inside the information. I'm telling you what they're doing. This is what we're doing. If you got, the moment you hear, especially if you're a woman or a black woman. If you're a woman or a black woman, the moment you get 45, the moment you get 45, I'm replacing you. Why? Because women are loyal. And women stick at jobs for 25 years. And you cost too much. Because I, to I had to give you a pay raise. I had to give you a 2% pay raise for the last 25 years. Right? Now, I'm, I'm, real talk. Real talk, if you are a woman or a black woman and you have a job, you are extremely vulnerable, not because a race issue, or at least not just because, or not because a gender issue. You cost too much. You're too good 
and I got to keep giving you too many pay raises. And if labor is wealth, the less I pay, the more wealth I have. So what do I do? I lay you off or I hire someone younger than you, faster than you, make you train them and then let you go. So when I'm paying you $45 an hour, $22 an hour, I could pay them $13 an hour. Somebody say, wow, that's what happened to me. Forced me to retire. Come on, I'm talking in this place. I'm not, listen, I'm giving you Hours? Uh -huh. Okay, hey, Miss Sherry, didn't even know. Listen, y'all, go get my book. It's free. I'm giving it away. I'm, I'm, the whole book is like this. And I got another book that's even worse <laughs> than what I'm doing. This here. I'm telling you, I'm giving y'all inside of secrets. Why? Because number one, job. But if you have a job, that means you're my wealth. But what do I do when I want more wealth? It's simple. Pay less money. Pay less money for more energy. This is why we outsource. This is why we use immigrants. Immigrants. If y'all think that these countries or these people in power hate immigrants the way you think, that's a lie. They're lying to you. They do not hate immigrants because all the people who are looking at immigrants, they don't hate immigrants. They use immigrants. That's why they outsource. What they want is to protect their political power. Okay. That's what it's about. The reason we're so strong with immigration, all countries, you see, because we want to keep writing the laws that keep us in the top 1%. And how are immigrants going to vote? If you come into a country and you need assistance, how are you going to vote? For the party that gives you assistance. It, this makes sense, y'all. This is com it's, it's just common sense. And I'm not saying you don't have it. I'm just trying to tell you what they're not telling you, right? This makes total sense. If I know you need assistance, I know you're going to vote for the party that gives you assistance. So I'm going to be the party that tries to stop and control immigration. Because if too many of you get in, there ain't none of us going to ever get elected. That's what that's about. Stop letting the media lie to you. That's what that's about. Number one, if you got a job, you're already vulnerable. Now, I'm not telling you not to to have a job, I'm telling you, since they're using you to get wealthy, use their money to get wealthy. Start using your paycheck to invest in real estate. Don't use your paycheck to pay your damn bills. Cut your expenses, right? Cut your expenses so you can save 40% of your income and make enough money to where you can get 40% of your income saved and go right into start investing in real estate. I'm not even talking stocks. Go invest in real estate as fast as possible. Because anyone with stocks is investing in real estate with that money, right? Go invest in real estate. But, you know, if you want to do a stocks conversation, I'll save it for another video. Because, right, I know all that too. Now, now that, job, now that I cut you off from a job, here's the plan, everybody. The, fact, the, one, the, the thing I want to do is I want to get you to the cheapest labor as possible. When you got a job, you cost me too much. When you're on welfare, you cost too much. When you're a criminal, I can't get that money. But when I arrest you, get your butt in jail and become my free labor. Oh, God, dog it. I'm t I think the name of this video is why only 3% of the world achieve financial freedom. I'm telling you why. I'm telling you why. Because I want to get you back to free labor. Every world power on planet Earth, every world power on planet Earth, every single world power on planet Earth got became a world power through child labor, slavery, or communism. Yeah, I'm if you went to school and got a degree, I'm giving you a degree in one video. If you want to understand economics and world history or whatever, I'm giving it to you right now. Slavery, why? Free labor. Child labor, why? Free labor, right? Slavery is cheap labor. Child labor is, child slavery is cheap labor. Communism is cheap labor. Why? Because I'm saying all you people work for the government. Right? <laughs> that's, that's the point of communism. That's the point of communism. The point of communism is the government is going to take all the people's money and we'll give y'all a stipend. 
And that's it, y'all. I just gave you the game. I just literally gave you the game. If you're trying to figure out why you're not rich, it's because someone's controlling your situation. Someone like me is controlling your situation. I'm going to pause real quick and move on to a different section and end. If you with me right now, drop, drop a comment in chat. Let me know you with me. Let me know that I just taught you some stuff. I made you, I know I'm, I'm somebody mad. Somebody's like, you know what? My boss been doing it, right? <laughs> just, 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 don't do nothing about it. Just take their money and start investing in real estate or something, right? Everybody check me out. I'm, I'm going to repeat all that. There's only four ways to survive in America. Only four ways, excuse me, only four ways to survive in any modern country. Any civilized country, only four ways to survive. One, have a job. Two, get on welfare. Three, become a criminal. Four, go to jail. Now, if I'm in the top 1%, or if I'm the people controlling the laws, then what I am, thank you, Angela, what I'm attempting to do here is I'm attempting to put you in number four, prison, because that's free labor. And all wealth is labor. And that is why when you have a job, they lay you off. Why? Because I need you to be on welfare. And when you get on welfare, I reform it. Why? Because I need you to be a criminal. And when you be a criminal, I patrol your neighborhood and arrest you. Why? Because once you get in jail, you free labor for me. And now I'm protecting my 1%. Can I do that again? Is that, is that helping? I'm really trying to do my best. Like this, this should be, I should have put this in the book. Actually, I do have it in the book. It's just a book I ain't released yet. Only four ways to survive in any modern civilization. If you're trying to figure out why only 3% of the world's income, I mean, 3% of the people control 97% of the world's income, 97% 90, of the world's income. If you're trying to figure out why only 3% of the people on planet Earth achieve financial freedom. If you're trying to figure out why I am in the top 1% global class, why I am rich in every continent on planet Earth. If you're trying to figure that out, I'm giving it to you because I understand that they wanted me to be their labor. Every, just put this down in the chat for me one more time so everybody can get it. All labor is wealth. It's the only way to create wealth. If someone asks you, so how do you create wealth? If they tell you anything but labor you're being lied to. Or you're talking to someone who doesn't have a clue. All labor is wealth. The more I use your energy and the less I get to pay you for it is the more I get to keep the excess money. I'm, yo, this is facts. My goal is to keep 100% of a dollar. Now, if I got to pay you 20% of that dollar for payroll, that means I got 80% of that dollar left. And if I got to pay another 20% of that dollar for company expenses, I mean, I got 60% left. If I got to pay 20% of that for advertising, that means I got 40% left. So right now, in my hypothetical example, that when I take... 60%, I only got 40% left. Now y'all playing with my money. Now I understand for every dollar come in, I'm only keeping 40 cents. So there's a problem somewhere. I'm going to make it make sense. I want all of you to imagine a dollar. Everybody imagine a dollar. If you think... I didn't put this in my book, but I should. But anyway, you can go get it. Go get that book for free, y'all. It's free. I give you the game. The same way I'm doing it right now, I give you the game. It's free. Get yourself out the middle class. The middle class is a lie. There is no such thing as the middle class. The middle class is a lie. They lie to you. Middle class is upper poor people. They lie to you. Okay? They lie. There is only wealthy and poor. There is no middle class. There is no middle class. They lie to you. And, and if you be honest with yourself, your pockets feel that way. 
You don't, you don't have to. See, right now I'm talking and someone's having cognitive dissonance. And I'll tell you what that is. Cognitive dissonance is when two neurons, are, excuse me, one neuron is holding two competing ideas. Biologically, the biological response of cognitive dissonance is frustration. It's just, it's, it's, not, it's not even your fault that you're mad at this information. It's a biological response and I'm introducing new information when you already had information in your head. Some of you are receiving cognitive dissonance by listening to me because I don't look like your oppressor. Mm. And that's, all the, that's automatically messing your head up. Yep. Because this young man is saying this knowledge that don't fit with the people who give me knowledge. So you're getting cognitive dissonance right there. They want me to say young black man. So some of you, you're getting that. And here's the deal. It won't even, if you getting cognitive dissonance because I'm black, that's not even the white people watching getting that in most cases. That's my own people getting that in most cases because I don't look like the person that you have in your head of wealth. All right? Now, everybody imagine a dollar. Watch what I do. I'm going to show you how trapped you are. Are you ready? Off top, from the jump, at the very beginning, the first thing you can do with a dollar is take off the taxes. First thing you can do. That's automatically 15 cents. Now we're at 85 cents left. Y'all ready for this? That's automatically. 50, do me a favor. Run this tab. Run what I'm saying. Put $1. And then put enter. Then put take off taxes. 15% of that. So now I got 85 cents left. I want to see it running the check. Okay. I'm about to, y'all, this is church. Okay. You you are you are in meditation. You're at the you're at the holy temple right now. Right? If, if you if you Muslim, you in you in Mecca. Okay. One dollar mm -hmm. and I'm taking off fifteen cents, which is fifteen percent for taxes. That's that's all of you are paying fifteen percent for taxes. But I ain't done. So now I got eighty five point eight five. That's all I got. I want to show you how trapped y'all are. I'm, I'm going to show you how trapped you are in the middle class. I'm showing you right now. So now I put 0.85. That's what's left. Now, did you touch this dollar yet? Nope. Let me tell you something. Your government trusts you so little that they take their money before you get it. Your government literally says they're going to blow this money. We better get it first. Tell me I'm lying. The government says, no, no, Antonio going to blow that money. Get it, get it first. That's 85 cents left. But watch it. I live in Texas. There's no state tax. Some of y'all got state taxes. You could take off another 10% just for that. So just put 10% for state taxes. Now I'm at 75 cents. <laughs> it's the truth. So before... Now, at 75%, that's three quarters, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's that's 75%. Mm -hmm. That's all over the world. If you go to space, three out of four is 75. Yes? Three out of four. Listen to me, y'all. Three out of four. Three out of four. Y'all hear that? Three out of four. Say it for me. Say it back to me. Three out of four. Three out of four. So I'm saying something. That means, before I continue, y'all work January February and March for free. That's three out of four. How many quarters in a year? Four. Four. Twelve months. Right? I could mm -hmm. I could split twelve and the four times three, right? Mm -hmm. And three times four. Mm -hmm. Okay. So every three months is a quarter. January, February, and March. All that. That's free. That's how much you are trapped. I ain't done yet, though. 
I just need you to know you work the first three months of every year to pay your government. You ain't got to believe me. Check your pockets. It feels like that. Then they dupe you and say tax returns. You do understand what a tax return means, right? It means I took too much money from you. You can have it back. Now, if me and you dating, <laughs> see, I already got somebody messed up, right? <laughs> And I'm dating you for a year and I go, you know what? I've been robbing you the whole year. But I love you though. Here's the money back that I stole from you to use it for my purposes. That's wrong, ain't it? Okay. Let's keep going. So now we have 75 cents. You ain't touched your money yet. But guess what, y'all? They make you pay taxes when you spend your money. You ain't think about that one. You don't, that 99 cent ain't 99 cent. That, that 50 rupees ain't 50 rupees. They put taxes on that. They, y'all, the government is slick. <coughs> so go ahead, take five cents off of that. So now we at 70 cents. Y'all, yeah, I ain't even got to your bills. <laughs> so yeah, y'all share this video and help one of your help one of your brothers and sisters. Cause this I am I am freeing the middle class right now. This is why only three percent of the people of the world achieve financial freedom because of this. <clears throat> get there's a link in the book. Put my put my link in chat. You can get the link. Get the book. It's free. I'm giving this to you. It's over ninety thousand ninety five thousand words. Six hundred eleven pages. Of all this stuff, I'm giving it to you. Take it for free. It's my gift back to the world. God's been so good to me, I'm giving back. Okay? Now, I feel my man Sammy. My man said, wow, get that book for free. So now you're at 70 cents, right? Watch this. So that's just taxes. I'm going to right now Google current rate of inflation. Just right now. This is America. I don't know what it is in your country. Well, actually, you're from India, so we're going to do both of them. That's 2.5. So do me a favor, Deanna. At 70 cents, you got to subtract 2.5 from that. Oh, it's all good. It's real easy. 67.5. So now your dollar, without you paying your bills, is 67.5% and I ain't done yet. Okay, we got a question. Go ahead. This is before we even get our check, That's, right? I'm trying to, yes. Yes. And I ain't done. Well, not our check because I, I, that's not I no longer what I do. But I'm just saying when it. I did. You understand. Okay. I'm trying to... Have I inflated any of this information? No. <laughs> Do you understand? I'm not making this up. I'm not saying this to sound cool. I ain't got to tell you this. I don't, I don't tell you this. And I ain't got to get the book away for free. I could just get on ahead and just let you keep on making me rich. This is why the rich get rich, richer, and the poor get poor. Y'all, my money is going to continue to multiply without my effort. My family is taken care of for at least one generation after my death. I'm working on nine generations. Period. I'm working. And my ultimate goal is to catch back up that 17 generations I lost. But that's a different conversation for a different time. Can we keep going? It's 67 and a half cents. Right now I've taken your dollar. I made it 67 and a half cents. Let me give you a history lesson real quick. Back in what you would call biblical times or antiquity or in the beginning of civilization, just depending on what you look, somatic era, just, you know, most of the person's income went to bread. Mm. You had to be rich to eat meat. Kings, and depending on what era you're in, if you're in the Middle, middle Ages, 500 to 1500 A.D., priest, they could afford meat. Regular people didn't eat meat. 
Okay, 97% of the world to eat meat. That, that was a luxury. Bread. Would you like to know how much they income with the bread? 60%. 60% of their income with the bread. We flipped it. Now, 60% of your income goes to your house. You know it. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. 60% of your income goes to your house. No, no, real talk. How many of you right now, Sammy White say, what you measure out will be measured back as far as this book. However, I know you. I know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He, look, he, he knows something about somebody we know. <laughs> he knows something about a man from Nazareth talking like that. <laughs> All right. 60%. So I need you to take that 67.5, right? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me prove 60% of your stuff goes to your house. How many of you live? One check goes to the rent and mortgage. The other check goes to the car and the car insurance. I'm going to add it all. No, right now, I'm not even putting the cell phone, cell phone bill. I'm not putting public transportation because I'm going to show you something. Right now, 60%, go look at your own finances. 60% of your income is going to take care of your cost of living. Mm. Right? Minus 60% from that 67.5. We got 7.5 cents left. Now I want you to think about this. For every dollar that you have, you only have 7.5 cents. Now, you ain't got to believe me. It feel that way. Your brain may not be able to explain it like me, but your heart feel it, don't it? And every time you got to tell your kids we can't afford that, you feel it. Mm -hmm. Now, watch this here. That's, that's just cost of living. Cell phones not part of cost of living. <clears throat> I'm, I'm being nice, transportation. But now... And that was nice. I put food in there. I put food in cost of living. I was nice about that. I put food. Now, though, you got to get to work. That's gas, ain't it? Gas ain't part of cost of living. Mm -mm. That commute. How many of you got a 40-minute commute and you be like, yo, I can't. How many of you struggle for gas money? See, they want to convince y'all that you not good with your money. Pastor want to get up there and tell you how, how y'all need to give your 10%. You want to give your 10%. You got the right heart to give your 10%, but you only got 7.5% left. It's right there. It's not that you not a good whatever religion you serve. You want to donate. The hell you can't afford it. And the church ain't calling you like your bill collectors. So that's 7.5%. I ain't take from you yet. I just want you to know. Your gas money is that. But watch this here. I'm getting ready to take from it. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Insurance. And I'm talking about health insurance. And life insurance. Oh. Protecting your family. This is why everybody listening to me right now, you probably don't have it. And if you do have it, your job gave it to you, your government gave it to you, but you, it's hard to afford it. You understand what I'm saying? So right now I've taken your dollar. Insurance, health insurance, all that stuff for protection, that's 7%. So take out 7% off that 7.5%. That's, that's, that's 0.5. That's 50 cents. I just showed you that every dollar you get is actually worth 50 cents. Now, would y'all like to know? Would you like to know what I just did? That's what I just did. Remember, what am we talking about? Antonio, 
We're talking about why 3% of the people only achieve financial freedom. What did you say, Antonio? I just joined on. Catch me up. I said there's only four ways to survive in a, in a civilized country, a modern country. Number one, get a job. Number two, get welfare. Number three, become a criminal. Number four, go to prison. Antonio, catch me up. What did you do with those four things? Don't even worry about it. I got you. I got you, my man. I got you. They don't want you to have a job. Why? Because all wealth is labor. All labor is wealth. So you cost too much. So what I want is actually cheap wealth. And since I can't get rid of you because the laws won't let me, I want to put you in prison. But since you don't really commit that many crimes the way I want you to, right? Then what I want to do is I want to lay you off and hire somebody cheaper so I can keep more of my wealth. Now you got to go down to a criminal. Now you got to go down to welfare. But I'm reforming that. Every modern country is reforming welfare because I don't want to pay for you there either. I don't want to pay for you there. So guess what I'm going to do? Huh. Reform that to give you some food stamps or some sort of assistance, SSI, Social Security, Section 8, something. Then I'm going to tell you, you got to apply for it every six months to make sure that you get to keep it. And then every time you keep it, I'm going to cut it, though. The longer you keep it, the less you're going to get. I'm talking in this place. Now I'm forcing you to do something criminal to have a side job. I'm not talking about selling drugs. I'm forcing you, I mean, do something criminal to get some side income. I'm forcing you to get paid under the table while you're getting Social Security. You get arrested for that. And so, not everybody Social Security, but you get what I'm saying. Not everybody, right? I'm forcing you to do some criminal activity that I can charge you with. Some nonviolent crime that you can survive so I can put you in jail so you can become free labor for me. Because child labor, slave labor, and communism is how world powers get here in a capitalistic society. Now, I broke down what a dollar actually is. We just got down to 50 cents. If you're just catching it, catch the video back. I promise you it's going to make some sense. Now, I said all of that to say this one thing. Y'all ready? That's why you got to get a loan and credit cards. And that's why only 3% of the world gets into the t financial freedom. Because the whole point of this is for one reason, write this down, Deanna. Debt. Slavery. That's the whole point. Debt. Slavery. Let me break it down to you. This is why I wrote this book. This is why I'm giving it away for free. I'm going to give it to you. I just showed you you only got 50 cents left. So when you got to go buy a car, when you got to take that flight, you got to put it on your credit card, don't you? Right? It's not because you irresponsible. It's because the system is set up for you to get on credit cards because the credit card companies are lobbying your Congress. And I'm making sense here. The credit card companies and the banks are in it. They together. The reason you got to get a loan for that house instead of building that house with your hands or pay it off. That's what used to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you what changed. <clears throat> that's what used to happen. It used to be land was free. We here. Let's build. That's my land. How the hell you charge for land that's free? Come on now. I can't charge you for a piece of earth that ain't mine. You don't even think about it. This is what we do. We say, hey, you want a banana? Man, pay me money. Bananas grow out the ground for free. Nature ain't say, yo, when I grow, y'all better pay me. That's not what nature do. Trees don't produce oxygen and go, wait a minute, you can't breathe me. Did you pay yet? Is your credit score over 600? Because if you're going to breathe, Sorry. that's not what nature do. Sorry. Nature give us plenty. People like me are controlling your poverty situation. See that? Here's the point. Here's what debt slavery is. Debt slavery. Well, there's a, there's a, I'm going to give you the proper definition. And I'm going to give you the real definition. Debt slavery is just 
let me Google it real quick. I'm going to give you the proper definition, and then I'm going to give you the real definition, okay? Debt slavery, debt bondage, same thing. I'm just, I'm just going to give you. It says, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the chat for you. And then I'm done. And then I'm going to let you make it. I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you make it. Put it here for you. There it is. Debt slavery is also known, debt bondage, also known as debt slavery or bonded labor, is the pledge of a person's services as security for the repayment of a debt or obligation where the terms of repayment, listen, is not clearly stated or reasonably stated, and the person holding the debt has some sort of control over the laborer. That's the proper definition. Can I give you the real definition? The real definition is this. I used to pay for my slaves. R write this down word for word. Okay. I used to pay for my slaves. Period. I built a shack for them to live in. I told them I'm not going to pay you, but you can live off my land and eat one or two. 2% of my crops. I'm master. I shield you. I clothe you. I feed you. Put this in all caps. I clothe you, I shield you, I feed you. Now put this in all caps. I own you. Keep in the caps. Be glad that I own you because I'm a good master. Now, I'm not, don't, don't hit it yet. You ready? Here's the powerful statement. Today, forget all that. Oh. Just the way I said it. <laughs> Today, forget all that. You feed you. Mm -hmm. You shield you. You clothe you. You pay for your own slavery. I'll control the debt and pay me before you pay yourself. Hit enter now. You can put that in the chat. All right. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why 3% only achieve financial freedom. Because only 3% are not slaves to debt. Now, I could have just went out here and said that, but you wouldn't have believed me. If I had just said, all right, ladies and gentlemen, three percent of you is not slave that you don't wait, wait a minute now. I pay all my bills on time. That, that yeah, that's actually you paying all your bills, you're paying all your credit, and you're gonna keep paying all your credit. They want you to be a good pay all your credit. And I'm not telling you not to pay your credit, you gotta keep yourself up. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you are arguing about I'm a good slave, and you don't even know you're doing it. Slavery no longer has color. No, it does not. No. But slavery never did have cover, color until the founding stone, the, the founding rock of slavery, the doctrine of exclusion by, by Maryland. That's when what you call racism, well, what is racism started to exist with the doctrine of exclusion in Maryland somewhere 1600, something like that. That's then. Slavery has always been what slavery is. I'm a Roman. You're a Greek. Go be a gladiator. Fight your dead off, right? I own you. Something like that. Slavery was never about race. Ever. Until American slavery. That's completely different. American slavery should not be compared to anything else that's completely different. It's its own thing. Here's the point all of you should be getting. You're a slave. You're the most honest, hardworking person 
goes to your religious establishment every chance you get. You take care of your mom, your dad. You let people talk mean to you. You don't say nothing. You pray. You meditate. You eat. You work out. You put your kids to school. You're willing to clean toilets for your future generation to have, to, to have a better life than you did. You don't steal. You don't beg. You don't borrow. And you don't take more than what you need. You should be rich. You are an upstanding moral citizen of planet Earth. You're the hardest working class. You are a nurse in a hospital. The doctor get the credit, but the nurse do the work. It's the truth. The doctor being there for like two minutes. and charge you $20,000. <laughs> the nurse knows you and recognize your voice when you call. Listen, I'm telling you, you're a slave to debt. <clears throat> there is a, put the link back in chat to go get that book. I gave you all my resources. I hooked you up. I spent, I don't know, like an hour talking to you right now. I gave you the game. There's a book. Go get it for free. It's yours. I'm going to run this video live over and over. Over and over. Over and over. I'm going to replay this video. Plus other videos. Because I want you to get out of debt. I want you to get into the top 1%. It's not hard. I can, I can actually see some of you getting it right now. It's not hard. I pray that you get out the system of oppression because you deserve to. Abundance is your birthright. Abundance is freedom. <clears throat> And the only reason you don't have abundance is not because something's wrong with you. Because something's wrong with people like me. <clears throat> and people like you, you let that be okay. So something's wrong with all of us. The way I share the light is I help people out of poverty. If you learn anything new, if you have any symbol of gratitude for what I've just done, Thank me by going to get your free book. I have a goal of making 100,000 millionaires before I die. I have a goal of giving 10 million copies of this book away. If I introduce anything you never thought about, go get that book, get your step-by-step -step resource to get out the middle class and go get what you deserve. I love you. If you need to, put my phone number down in the chat. You text 409, put actually plus one, because it's the same number on WhatsApp. 409 500 1546. You can text me about the book. You can text me and I'll send you a link to get the book. You can ask me a question. I want you out of your situation. Antonio T. Smith Jr., you can't plant better. You can dominate.